Hi there and welcome to Facebook Live. It's Q&A Wednesday. Um, it's actually Women's Week this week, so I had to pick a topic that had to do with women. Um, and I think I, pretty, I came up with it pretty well, something I've had experience with um, because I am a mom. Um, for those of you that don't know or haven't met me yet, um, I actually have five children ranging from my youngest is nine um, and my oldest is actually 21 and he's in the military. So um, yes, I have adult children. It's a little disconcerting at this point, but it's amazing. My children are wonderful. Um, yeah, they're just, they're fantastic. So um, today's topic is, you know, is it appropriate to exercise um, when, when I'm pregnant? Um, funny, funny background, funny story for me. Um, my last pregnancy, my, my youngest is nine. Um, and so <laughs> obviously it's been a while since I've been pregnant. But um, when I was pregnant with him, I was at the time going to a gym um, actually, for the last couple of children, um, I actually put my membership on hold at the gym. And I, I look back now and find it super funny uh, because I would never do that. But one thing that I learned, and, and granted, you know, I just didn't understand um, what it takes to be healthy and, and fit when you're, when you're pregnant. Um, but one thing that I learned is that, you know, you don't have to stop exercising when you're pregnant. And so one of the things that happened once I became a trainer, um, the very first gym that I worked at, I had an amazing experience. Um, I got to watch a lovely lady who, um, was pregnant throughout the time that she was working out there and while I was training there. And what I found was fascinating. This gal, and, and granted, and she wasn't super young or anything. I mean, she had a couple of boys already, um, but she actually, she ran, she strength trained right up until the day that she gave birth. Uh, very motivating and inspiring to see someone who, you know, took her health seriously enough that she knew that if she just remained active that she would have a much better time after the fact losing the weight from the baby weight. Um, and she did. She was back within that gym within a couple of weeks, and not even a couple of weeks, to be honest, I think it was a few days, um, because she just bounced back. And so, you know, I look at that completely different. I wish I would have known what I, of course, know now, which is is that you know exercise during pregnancy can actually be a really healthy thing so keep that in mind we're gonna talk a little bit about that um, I see that there's some guys popping on um, so hopefully you have significant others or are in a situation maybe you're just on to say hi and I appreciate that um, but for those of you that aren't sure or you know it's kind of an interesting question or maybe I'm just entertaining because I know what a big dork I am um, you know welcome and, and thanks for hopping on tonight um, so again we're talking about whether or not it's appropriate to exercise uh, while you're pregnant we're also gonna um, touch topics really quick on um, cravings since I know <laughs> I remember what some of my cravings were um, you know you just some things you just never forget so um, so let's talk about that a little bit um, like I said you know if I ever had the chance to do it over again which I will not um, I am done having children I've had five that is more than I um, you know healthy kids I, I can't ask for anything more than that um, I was pregnant six times we did lose one in between our last two um, but you know for the experience that we had we're so grateful for and blessed for the kids that we have um, but I would I would never put my membership on hold again so a um, couple things okay so you know when it comes to exercising when you're when you're pregnant um, first of all I think it's super important that you're cleared by your doctor um, and of course whenever you fill out forms at like a gym or for trainers or for whatever you know it even says on there have you been cleared to exercise so it's always important it's always good that your doctor is on the same page as you because there are some times where it's not appropriate to, to, to exercise now my tip for you is that I wouldn't not necessarily all of a sudden start exercising once you become pregnant. Um, you don't want to go from zero to 60 and add something new to your life. If you're already exercising, you don't have to discontinue that. Um, your body's already used to it. It's ready for it. Um, again, if, if you want to start as you get pregnant, just really take it easy. Um, you know, start out with walking. Use some common sense here. Um, you know, you're not going to start a whole brand new sport um, once you become pregnant. <laughs> Building a baby is enough, right? Um, so, you know, that's important. Um, if you are high risk, um, if your doctor has deemed you high risk for multiple reasons, whether it's um, your age, whether it's past history, um, family history, um, you know, threatened miscarriages, of course, that's something that you're really going to have to work closely in tandem with your doctor to make sure that you're making the best choices that you possibly can um, in order to obviously come to a full-term full term birth. So I think that's important. Um, 
moderate is, is a great option. Like I said, for, for those of you that are already running or doing something that is a little more high intensity, um, as long as your doctor's cool with it, you should be okay with it. Now, for those of you, um, if you remember when you had your first pregnancy, your body changes a whole lot. There are some things that you may not want to do once you find your body changing. Um, things like your, your joints start to loosen up a little bit, your ligaments change. I remember um, having extreme pains, um, you know, and kind of wondering, thinking something was wrong, going to the doctor, and my doctor said, no, that's just your joints and your ligaments stretching out just a little bit to, uh, and relaxing to be prepared um, for the baby. So um, keep that in mind that some of the things that you normally do might not be as comfortable or as fun um, once you once you get pregnant. Um, and of course, obviously, no physically um, combative sports. Um, my first pregnancy, I was in college still, and I was taking, um, because I'm an element, I had an elementary education major, um, I took a class on teaching PE, and they decided they were gonna do some sort of a, a PE, teach the teacher um, on, it had to have been football or something like that. And of course, the biggest guy in the class and the pregnant lady were up against each other. Um, and I remember bouncing off of him and that was not exactly comfortable. Um, obviously nothing happened, but it, you know, probably not the best option. So um, yeah, not the best choice. Don't, don't start playing football <laughs> when you get pregnant. Things that probably would tell you that it's not the best option to start um, exercising um, again, and, and these are gonna be between you and your doctor, and for those of you that have never um, had a pregnant, had a pregnancy, or if you're a guy, you've never had a pregnant wife, um, just keep in mind, I mean, these are just, this is science, this is real stuff. Um, you know, if you um, are a woman who has, has had an ultrasound and found that you have a low-lying placenta, might not be the best option to be doing any sort of intense activities. Um, if you're bleeding or spotting, of course, you know that that can actually kind of precipitate a miscarriage. So again, anytime that you're in question, um, you know, just make sure that you check in with your doctor. Um, if you have had a threatened or recurrent miscarriages, probably not a good idea to start um, or to continue exercising, um, at least a, a, an intense uh, form when you're pregnant. Um, previous premature births, um, I know those of us that get to the end of the 40 weeks really don't want to be pregnant anymore. However, you know, there is a certain amount of time that's important for that baby to um, be within the womb. So, um, of course, it's important to keep, keep it in there as long as possible. Um, if you have also been ordered to bed rest, obviously you shouldn't be exercising. I think that that one's a little bit of common sense, but you know, never know. Um, or if you have a really weak cervix, it's probably not a good idea to, to do anything that's too intense. So again, take it, listen to your body, learn to listen to your body and what it has to tell you. I think those of us, I think so many of us are so busy all the time. We stopped to listen to what our body has to tell us and it will tell us what we need to know in order to stay healthy. So um, benefits of exercising while pregnant. There are, there are of course are great benefits um, to continue to exercise while you're, while you're pregnant stress release I mean come on that's that's always a huge benefit versus um, you know some of us eat comfort comfort foods make a better choice you know exercising can make you feel better um, it can help prevent gestational diabetes and in my five pregnancies I was well six pregnancies and my five children um, I actually had gestational di diabetes twice and not even in a row so you know when your hormones change and things are a little bit um, different than you, your body's under a little bit of duress when it's working um, to I call it build a baby um, you know things things change within your system um, and if you are exercising you can kind of help put some of those issues with you know gestational diabetes um, at bay we'll talk a little bit about cravings and how um, you know it's not really a license when you're pregnant to just eat like a crazy person um, because that can play into it and of course sole goal when you're pregnant is to have a healthy baby and keep yourself healthy as well so um, keep that in mind um, other benefits though of exercising while you're pregnant um, is you know a decrease in some of the issues that you might have when you're pregnant such as fatigue um, and back aches oh yeah remember those it's been a long time since I've been pregnant but you know there's there's definitely some <laughs> you're definitely tired <laughs> um, Couple of things to remember when you are exercising, of course, especially now that it's getting warm outside, at least where we live, um, stay hydrated. Um, that is, of course, the most important. Um, you know, you, your body needs that all the, the hydration to flush um, and to run your systems correctly. Plenty of rest, um, 
guys, building a baby's hard. Your body is working hard. Um, and I'm going to tell you that when, when you are feeding your body nutrients, when you're building a baby or when you're pregnant, um, your body will give the nutrients that the baby needs to the baby first. So if you're not getting enough rest, if you're not getting enough nutrients, if you're not getting enough of the right things, your body will support the baby first and foremost before it supports you. So, you know, you are doing yourself a disservice by not getting enough of what you need. Like so whether it's rest or whether it's enough food, enough calories, um, there's no benefit to going without, especially if you have the, the opportunity to do so. So, um, there is a difference, however, between exercising for the first two trimesters of pregnancy and the last because the major changes are happening by the final trimester. Um, the biggest one, of course, is that you are not the same shape. So your balance will obviously change a little bit. And keep that in mind that when, <laughs> when your balance isn't the same because, of course, baby bump, um, you know, you're going to not have the same not only the same balance, but you know, you might feel a little clumsier. Um, safety is of course super important. So make sure that you um, have been working on your stabilization, your core strength, um, doing your kegels, um, doing all that fun stuff. Um, but keep in mind that you know balance is gonna play a, a huge role there. At that point at your third trimester, don't do anything where you're on your back for pro prolonged periods of time. It does cut off the blood supply and the oxygen supply to your baby. So um, you know anything there's a lot you can still do so don't think that this is gonna completely limit you um, your joints like I said will be looser um, ligaments are gonna be different so again you you won't need to be as intense um, and because you're gonna need to get all the rest you possibly can uh, you know I know that at some point it's hard to sleep at night um, you toss you turn you can't get comfortable but remember that once the baby is now in your arms you will never sleep the same again so get as much rest as you possibly can that's that's a pretty important part of that so any questions cuz I know I ramble a lot and hopefully everybody's listening but um, you know it's it's really it's not that too complicated of a topic um, as long as you're using common sense and, and working with your doctor you should be good to go um, and the, the better off that you are in advance the more that you are um, exercising doing some healthy options we'll talk about food here in a second um, the better off you are as you're finished um, and you want to take the weight back off you are going to gain weight with a baby that is part of your body's process in preserving and survival um, is to support that baby so don't freak out because you're going to put some on but you don't need to put on a lot of extra um, and so by doing a little bit of exercise and then still eating healthy which we'll talk about in a sec you know you'll you'll be a better further along the process sorry about that my son's trying to call in the middle of my Facebook live so anyhow um, let's talk really quickly about cravings because I know that you know for most of us we have some sort of cravings in our lifetime but when we're pregnant we have some pretty intense cravings um, and couple that with some hormones uh, yeah it makes for a very interesting nine months um, but let's keep let's keep a few things in mind uh, because cravings you know are usually mean a couple of things number one cravings can mean your body's missing some nutrients um, you know making sure that you're getting a, a well-rounded balanced diet is super important because your body needs those vitamins and those minerals to help um, again build a baby you've got to have the right nutrients you got to have the right ingredients the right building blocks so you're Cravings are your body's survival mechanism. Usually it means that something is missing. And so when you are hungry, it's your body's, it needs something. It needs food, it needs nutrients. So pay attention to what you're missing, um, you know, making sure that you're getting enough. Another great idea is making sure that you're eating throughout the day so that your blood sugar does not drop, um, thereby triggering those cravings. Because of course, when you're low blood sugar, you're, again, your body's gonna do what it takes to get you to feed it, and cravings are one of those things. Um, you know, just a hormonal shift. Um, again, you may even crave some, really, they always talk about the strange things, like the pickles and ice cream. I never quite crave the pickles and ice cream. I did, however, <laughs> with one of my pregnancies, crave the um, nasty fried taco, deep fried tacos at Jack in the Box. I don't even understand that at this point. Um, but yeah, that was, that was one of my cravings one season. You also may have some aversions to certain foods. And again, that's usually your body is, is again, trying to protect you from something. So um, just keep that in mind that it's not necessarily um, that your body just doesn't want it, you know, who knows um, a lot of these things that there's not a lot of research or, or um, information on so again your body just knows your body's smart it knows how to, to protect you um, 
I would say with pregnancy and food, of course, eating eating clean and eating healthy is really super important. Um, but really, just don't. You want to avoid thinking that you can have whatever you want. You know that this is this is your time um, because again, you know, if you want to build a healthy baby, you need to do it with the right ingredients. Um, and, and you just don't want to get too far off track because number one, it'll just make it more difficult uh, when you're done and you're you're trying to be the mom now and you're sleep deprived and your body doesn't have enough of the right nutrients. And of course, you're still craving garbage because that's what you ate all pregnancy. So you, the better off that you can be during the pregnancy, you'll be more, much more prepared when you're finished. Um, talk about eating balanced diet you know if you do if you do cave if you do cave to those cravings it's not the end of the world but you know keep it to a minimum if you want a brownie that's great but it doesn't have to be a brownie sundae um, it can just be something you can also try and make some healthier choices that might be in place of that if you're really requiring something sweet you know maybe have some fruit there are some some ways to overcome that um, also again usually if you have a craving it's something your body needs something specific and I can't remember all of it. there's charts go to Pinterest you're gonna see charts um, if you're missing certain like if you're craving chocolate you might be missing some magnesium um, so you can look across there and see if there's something that maybe you need to eat that your body is requiring and it doesn't necessarily have to be junk food. Uh, most of us just kind of equate food as comfort and so, you know, sometimes it just ma it makes you feel better to think about eating that. That's not always the best option. Um, and again, remember it will be e easier to take off if you don't put a bunch of extra on. So um, something else that, you know, again, when it comes to food and comfort, just have some extra emotional support. When your hormones change and it's a new stress in your life, it's, it's something different, it's really difficult to deal with, by having some people behind you, um, you know, hopefully you have a significant other there, but if not, have a good support network so that you have emotional support in a way that doesn't have to come from another source like food. Um, you know, and use it, don't, don't tell people no. Be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. Um, I know that's a difficult one for some of us, especially um, when we have control issues. Uh, but you know what? You're going to be so much better off, not just physically healthy, but emotionally healthy. So um, just some great tips to have the best pregnancy that you possibly can. And again, I chose this topic uh, because it is Women's Week at Fillmore Fitness. And I chose this week to be uh, Women's Week because it is Mother's Day on Sunday. So hopefully you have some amazing person, some amazing female in your life that you're going to celebrate or at least appreciate, um, tell thank you and I love you too. Uh, because you know what? Your mom's worked hard for you. So it's important that we feel blessed in our lives. And if not, there is somebody in your life who would absolutely love to hear from you and just feel loved and appreciated. So hopefully we all do that this weekend. Um, you know, my kids are already planning some things. So pretty excited about that. Anyway, I do. Uh, so anyway, have an incredible evening. Hopefully I give you enough information for that. Again, I'm always looking for great questions. I have a few that I'm willing, uh, that I'm wanting to talk about the next couple of weeks, but my best questions come from you guys, because of course, if I, if you're asking it, somebody else is too. And I love to answer the questions. I love to educate. I love to kind of debunk some things, you know, that people are thinking are true and I'm going, eh, no. Um, so if you have a topic or some, a question that you would like to ask, please leave a comment below. You can also email me at Melissa at fillmorefitness.com. I check it all the time. Um, otherwise have an incredible week. Enjoy the wonderful weather, at least what we're having in the Pacific Northwest. And we'll talk to you next week.